Horses are coming onto the track for DuCoin's ninth race, win, play, show, exacta, and trifecta wagering. The Hayes Memorial for two-year-old pacing fillies, part of the Grand Circuit Series, named in memory of various members of the Hayes family, which founded, owned, and operated this DuCoin State Fair for many, many years. $45,000 is the purse. Eric Ledford drives the three insurance fee, and Cat Manzi drives number nine female champs. Time now to meet the starters. Number one, Odds On J-Lo is owned by Odds On Racing of Crete, trained by Robin Shatt. The driver is Tim Tietrich. Couple in the wagering, 1A is Odds On Abigail, owned also by Odds On Racing, trained also by Robin Shatt. The driver, Tony Morgan. Number three is New Diamond Star, or two, rather, is New Diamond Star. Number two is owned by Shirley and Arthur Levin of Hoffman Estates, trained by Homer Hochstetler and Ron Marsh is in the bike. Number three is Insurance Fee, owned by Barnett Zimmerman, Limited Liability Corporation of Deerfield, trained by Brett Pelling, the driver, Eric Ledford. Number four, Princess Justice, owned by Robert W. Miller of Kentucky, trained by Kurt Sugg, the driver, Dale Heitman. Number five, Tapas Beach, owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller, and the bike. Number six, Early Start, owned by the Brian Penske Stable Incorporated of owner Brandy Penske of Mokina by Bill Wright of Morton, trained by Tim Penske. The driver is Dave McGee. Number seven, Darling Catherine, is leased by Angie Affronti of Joliet. She's the trainer and Michael Osting, the driver. Number eight, Madeira Island, owned by Nancy and Donald Musalami of LaGrange, trained by Mark O'Mara, and Mark is in the race bike. And completing the field will be number nine, Female Champs. Female Champs is owned by Archie Core of Wrightsville, Pennsylvania, by G.W. Buzzy Schulte of Lexington, Kentucky, and by O.C. Core, trained by Buzzy Schulte, and the driver is Kat Manzi. West. Here they come for today's ninth race at DuCoin. They are off and pacing. Female champs of Madeira Island, both showing speed on the outside. Odds on J-Lo is there between horses, and New Diamond Star moves up down toward the rail with a ground-saving trip around the first turn. Madeira Island is caught three wide, up to challenge New Diamond Star for the top spot. Then odds on J-Lo backs up, trying to find a spot on the rail. Female champs moves three wide around her into third. Princess Justice has a ground-saving trip in fourth around the first turn. Female champs is still parked the opening quarter, 27-4, and four, and female champs is up to get the lead by two lengths. Madeira Island goes second. New Diamond Star is third. Princess Justice fourth. Odds on J-Lo is fifth. Odds on Abigail is racing in sixth. The gap of two more lengths to insurance fee in seventh. Tapas Beach is racing in eighth. Early start is ninth. And Darling Catherine is tenth and last as they approach the half mile mark. Female Champs leads it. Here comes New Diamond Star up on the outside. And New Diamond Star with a rush is up to get the lead from Female Champs the half in 56 and three. Madeira Island third. Here comes Princess Justice now taking third and moving up to grab second. Odds on J-Lo is in the outer flow behind her. Then odds on Abigail further back. Tapas Beach followed by Early Start who's racing nine lengths off the lead. Then Darling Catherine and Insurance Fee is now last. Approaching the three quarters. It is New Diamond Star leading it by a half length. Princess Justice is second by a length. Odds on J-Lo third by a neck. And Female Champs is fourth against the rail. She's two lengths off the leader. Three quarters and one at 25. New Diamond Star leads it, but Princess Justice is just off her flank. Then odds on J-Lo as they turn for home. Coming to the eighth pole, New Diamond Star leads it by a length. Princess Justice is second. Odds on J-Lo third. Tapas Beach out in the center of the racetrack, and then female champs back toward the rail. But New Diamond Star opens up by three lengths to Princess Justice. Odds on J-Lo and female champs. New Diamond Star wins the Hayes Memorial by two and a half lengths over Princess Justice. It was close for third, either female champs or odds on J-Lo for third in one minute, 53 seconds flat. The official winner, number two, New, Di New Diamond Star, is a New Jersey-bred filly by Artescape, owned and bred by Shirley and Arthur Levin of Hoffman Estates, trained by Homer Hochstetler, driven by Ron Marsh. Shirley and Arthur Levin are the president and CEO, respectively, of a costume jewelry company. They design and manufacture the products that they sell, and they sell them at house parties worldwide. 
And they also, the Levins, own harness horses. They have been very active in Illinois for the last 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for the winner of the Hayes Memorial, New Diamond Star with Ron Marsh. Two, four exact to $13.60. We'll have the trifecta in just a moment. Fans, when they see an Illinois-owned horse win these Grand Circuit races, what's up next for this filly down the road? Well, she has to go to Lexington, and, uh, and she races in the filly pace down there. That, that's her last scheduled start that I think we have for her. This filly has a lot of ability. Homer, was she the kind of filly? Uh, did she always show this much talent from the time you started working with her, or, or has she ever? Has it taken uh, some work to get this out of her? No, she was natural. She was a uh, good... Uh, First time we raced her, Ronnie drove her in a bay race. He said, I think she's a good one, you know, and I I thought she was a good one. Uh, but you never know until you get into competition, you know. But she is probably every start got a little stronger. One more question, uh, Homer. I know that a lot of folks have been asking about uh, the horse that you and Connie sold, Cadabra. Uh, I know that he was scratched from the Breeders' Crown, and there have been a lot of Illinois fans asking, what's the latest on Cadabra? Will he continue to race? What is the latest story there? Have you had a chance to talk to Jimmy Tactor about the horse? Well, I just heard he had a, a slight uh, tear in a hind suspensory. Whether he'll race again, I don't know. I didn't ask him. Uh, hopefully he will. I mean, uh, they can recover. Some horses recover from a lot. So we'll wish him the best and hope he comes back. Absolutely. It's been a lot of fun watching that horse. Folks, that's our winning trainer, Homer Hochstetler. We'll have more coming up in just a moment.